Well, if they missed uh, the number. So, I mean, they clearly just absolutely uh, missed, uh, missed their own forecast. And look, anytime a company puts out a 50% growth target, it's always comes back to bite them. Uh, but ultimately, I think this is IDFA combined with supply chain is what they called out. And IDFA uh, is an issue that is an industry issue. It's not a snap specific. So this is Facebook trade desks is across the board that would have an issue. Uh, so ultimately, we, we think this is a great buying opportunity below 60. If this is, again, industry specific and not snap, uh, you know, everyone's going to feel the brunt of this in the short term and this storm will go through and this will pass and these companies will come out of it. So any reason to think it is staff specific? I, I mentioned earlier the daily active users, which actually did look like a beat. 306 million. Fact set was at 301, higher than, than the last quarter, which was 293. Stephanie Link was saying maybe that, that was a miss. But is there any concern there? It's still more than 20 percent user growth. No user growth issue, Sarah. It's all it's all the ad driven you know revenue number, right? So uh, th that really comes back to you. Uh, it's just going to take time for them to work work through this. And we've heard this through our checks. Some of the checks going into the print were a, a little more skittish than we've heard in the past. And, and, and a lot of this, too, is supply chain. If you can't get a product to a consumer, why are you advertising? You're going to wait with the advertising work. So uh, I, I don't think this is SNAP specific. This is a great company. They're innovating. They are definitely in the lead for the metaverse. When we talk about the next generation of the Internet, uh, they have uh, obviously become... Uh, the de facto for the younger audience uh, as they're venturing back out into the world. The map is under monetized. They have a video game platform. They have a con they have a broader uh, dynamic ad platform. I mean, they have so many lanes of opportunity. So we don't think this is, uh, again, this, these are one of these great opportunities where the stock's getting dislodged. And I think we'll look at and say, uh, we'll look back a year from now uh, under 60. This was, uh, this was a good opportunity. I think he's calling it Brent. an overreaction. He is indeed. Brent, thanks so much. Really interesting.